Hello everyone, this is Valkrin. I got a lot of questions about how to counter proxy singe, so I decided to make a video on it. So what is proxy farming? Proxy farming means you're killing the enemy creep wave between the enemy towers or even in the enemy base. It's most effectively done by singe, and whatever lane that singe is clearing, the enemy team can't push against, so he's creating a lot of distraction for the enemy team. Singe can even proxy farm two waves at once. That's going to shut down two lanes for the enemy team. That means they can't push against it, and it's going to create a lot of havoc in the game. Proxy Singe has a lot of weaknesses early, and it's most notably his very weak early game. And if you shut him down as early as possible, then he won't have any strength to carry on to the mid and late game. This is how you counter it. These five top laners are exceptionally good at killing Singe early game. The one on here that you're probably not expecting is Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia is fantastic at killing Singed early game. She can shut him down and she can kill him very easily. These five junglers are also exceptionally good at ganking early and shutting down a proxy Singe. And, and used, used in combination, if you have the correct top laner and jungler, proxy Singe cannot do anything early and you should be able to kill him, snowball, shut him down. Wording at level 1 is paramount when you're dealing with a proxy singe because if he enters your jungle at level one and tries to proxy the first wave you should see it you should stop him and you should kill him a lot of people don't realize that ghost counters ghost if you're taking flash against someone with ghost you're handicapping yourself because you're only going to have one opportunity to kill them and that's the one moment where they start breaking away from you and you flash and kill them or if you don't kill them then they're going to get away by taking Ghost against someone with Ghost, then you're effectively canceling out both Ghost effects because you're going to be moving at the same speed as them and you can gap close using an ability or a slow catching up to them and killing them. 1v2 swapping is really important if your top laner cannot deal with Singe. If it's a bad matchup against Singe, then Singe proxy farming is going to become a huge problem in that game. And by 1v2 swapping, your AD carry and support can effectively shut down Singe early game. Singe does not deal well with ranged characters early. And if worded, you know, if you word correctly and you know he's not going to proxy at level 1, you can shut him down by outpressuring him in lane. Or if he does proxy at level 1, your AD carry can safely farm under the tower while your support harasses him and sets up for a jungle gank. Snowball items are an excellent option if Singe gets shut down early and just starts suiciding for minions. This means that even though he becomes worthless, you're still gaining strength in terms of AP or AD. A lot of Singes brag about how, oh, I'm worthless, it doesn't matter that I'm giving you kills, but if you get a snowball item, it does matter. These items are extremely cost effective, even if you don't have 20 stacks. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.